Hey guys, thank you for tuning in again to episode four of The Real Connor Miller Show. Today I'm gonna be talking about procrastination and I'm gonna be talking about putting things off that we know that we really should be doing. Um, And one of those things for me was this podcast. I've actually been wanting to do this podcast for, I don't know, a year now. Um, And I kept putting it off over and over because one, I didn't have the full confidence in myself to be able to do it in a beneficial way for the listener. And I know that's the most beneficial thing here is the end consumer of the actual show. So I wanted to at least bring value through that. But another part was I was living my life in the wrong way. And what I mean by that is I was living my life for my own glory. And that kind of slapped me in the face over the last few months because I started to realize like, wow, I mean, and you guys know from the last episode where we talked about the story, the only reason I'm here is because of God. It's not for me. It's not my glory. I'm not supposed to be this guy that stands on a stage and receives these accolades and all that shit. It's not what I'm designed for. And I didn't realize that until a few months ago. And frankly, everything in my life from the beginning of 2022 to now has literally 10 x I mean, it has been insane. And that's not even my own doing because I'm doing the same shit that I was last year, right? Like I have the same responsibilities. I have the same mindset in growing the business. Like I'm, I'm still a husband, a father, like all of these things. I'm still the same guy, right? It's just the mindset changed. And the way that I approach things in giving God the glory change. And I think that's where my feeling of confidence has come from. And I think it's also why I feel that I can speak on these topics so naturally. It's because I'm just a vessel. Like I'm not a special person. You know, there's nothing crazy about me. Like I'm not smarter than any of you guys. I just happen to be open to be used from my experience. And I think that's one thing that's going to drive everything else in my life to continue to become more successful is because I know I can't do any of this shit without God. I literally can't. I mean, I tried my whole life and my life didn't really get good till 2020. And my life didn't get great until about six months ago. And it's really because I changed my mindset and I started to focus on giving God the glory and not myself. Because truly, I wouldn't be here today had it not been for divine intervention There's so many times that I should have died. I mean, overdose, waking up in the hospital, defibrillators bringing me back to life, crashing a car into a tree. I mean, I could go down the list for hours. And really, I mean, if you guys can understand that and and gear your perspective towards giving God the glory through your struggle, and I know it sounds a lot easier than it probably is, you know, while you're going through those struggles, giving giving God that glory and, and, and understanding that you're being molded right? It's hard when it's, when it's tough because you're going through that shit every single day and you're in the trenches and you're like, what the fuck? Like, how could this be happening to me for something good? Um, and you don't even realize it at the time. You have to keep an open perspective though, to, and, and, and continue to ask yourself, why is this happening? Not in a, in a negative way, but what is the purpose of this happening? And the purpose for the most part, I would say is usually good especially if you're aligned with that spiritual world, right? Like, and I would encourage anyone in here, like I'm not a religious person by any means. I hate religion. I don't go to church. Um, I'm not saying that church is a bad thing, but I just haven't found a church home yet that I have, haven't felt judged or haven't felt these um, traditional type Christian values that we hear of in the world, right? I consider myself a Christian, but it's only because I have a personal relationship with God. It's not about me going and singing worship songs every Sunday. You know, it's not about me saying my prayer before I eat my food every day. It's a constant connection. It's a daily uh, conversation. You know, God wants us to talk to him and God knows our heart too. You know, he doesn't want us to just say, oh God, please help me with this, help me with that. No, he wants to be like, God, I'm fucking frustrated right now, dude. I really need some help with this situation and I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I need you to step in and guide me. 
those are the kind of conversations I have with God on a daily basis. And they may seem different than like the traditional, I guess, Lord's Prayer or whatever you were growing up in school learning. But that's because all that stuff is bullshit. I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray. I'm saying that prayer is not what it's supposed to be when you look at traditional Christianity. Prayer is a constant conversation with the Lord every single day. And um, if I can encourage anybody through this episode, it would be to just start having those conversations. Just talk to God. Ask him questions. Ask yourself questions. And realize that all of those things that happened in your life have truly happened to mold you and prepare you for the next best thing that's going to happen in your life. The religion thing, not a big fan of it. I believe a personal connection with the Lord is the most beneficial thing in life. And um, I didn't know that because growing up, I grew up going to church on the weekends, you know, every Sunday it was church. And I just had this orthodox idea of what it was to be a Christian. And, you know, frankly, when I went to church, that was the first place I actually learned to judge. And I think that speaks volumes because it's the place where you're supposed to go to learn how to not judge. And um, my first beginning relationship with God, it, it truly like consciously didn't happen until the third time I was in jail. The third time I was in jail, I was in there for a year and I worked on one of the floors passing out food to the inmates. Um, it was like just, you know, they give you a job. Um, you're there for 12 months. You go to work every day. You don't get paid or anything, but it passes the time, right? And uh, I remember my shift would start every day at 2 a.m. And we would feed breakfast around 4.30 a.m. So from 2 to 4, it was just like cleaning up things from the night before, so on and so forth. And there was this closet on the sixth floor that I used to sit in. And I'll never forget, I used to sit in that closet and close the door and there was no noise. You could maybe hear like drips of water in the pipes and things of that nature. And I just tried talking to God because I never had before. And um, I was pretty amazed by those conversations because even if I wasn't hearing him speak back to me at first, he was putting things in front of me in my thought process to help me have realizations that I wouldn't have before. So I would sit in those, I would sit in that closet and I would talk about like, wow, you know, like, how did I get here? I can't believe the decisions I've made, you know, X, Y, and Z. And uh, I remember having those revelations and, and realizing like, wow, man, you know, like it's not over, you know, and that's another concept in this show is like, no matter how bad you fucked your life up, it's not over, you know, you can come back from it. And at that time, I didn't believe it, right? And that's why I started having those conversations with God because I was like, dude, what do I do? I mean, like, I'm fucked. Like, how am I going to come back from this? How am I going to even build a life? Like at that time I was 20 years old. I had already been to jail three times. You know, I had been to three different rehabs. I'm like, man, like these kids that I grew up with are working at companies, becoming managers already. And like, look at me, I'm in a cell. And uh, that's one thing that I'll talk about at some point through these episodes is comparison because comparison is from the devil. It's, it's evil. And, um, whether you compare yourself and win or lose, it's evil. And I think I actually talked about this on Chris's show when I went on Chris's show. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I was comparing myself to everyone else around me and not realizing that I was just beating myself down on a daily basis. Um, so, I started to have those conversations and um, through that, built more of a personal relationship with God and realized that all these traditional things that I thought I had to do, I really didn't have to do as long as I maintained that relationship and uh, continued to have that outlook of like, wow, man, I'm here because of divine intervention, not because of myself. And, um, you know, going back to my life and the timeline, my life didn't get really good until like 2020. And it's because I was not living for God. I was not living for the person who saved me. I was living for myself and I was giving myself all that glory. And, um, you know, truly, I want to bring it back and, and, and help everybody understand, like, you have to start asking those questions. Start having those conversations. I mean, it might seem silly at first. And frankly, when I first started doing it, it was silly to me. Um, I was just willing to push through and try it, you know, and, and a lot of things in life, people, people either one, they find what they're good at. Or two, they have massive realizations just because they were willing to try something. So just be willing to try it. <laughs>